back to my channel. I am Miss Crochet and Coffee, bringing you yet another unboxing. I'm going to shed some light on this situation because I get a lot of requests about and a lot of inquiries on what has changed at Diamond Art Club. Now, my first experience at Diamond Art Club, like I've said before, it wasn't the best. Like, I thought the lady got snippy with me, so I wanted to give them another shot. I did. I was absolutely satisfied with, you know, everything that happened. Um, like I said, I was missing drills. They were offering to send out the drills, but I didn't really need them. So I just, you know, save the drills. You probably need them for something else. Just save them. But for the most part, I had no issues with Diamond Art Club. But I wanted to see, because they had said about changing their, their setup and everything. So I wanted to see what the difference was. Now, in previous videos, I had mentioned that I bought two more diamond paintings from them. I bought one for my husband and one for myself. This one's my husband's. He gets the older one. This one is mine. Mine is Wolf Dreamcatcher by the Diamond Art Club. It is a 42 by 60 centimeter. So it's a little bit bigger than my lion, but he's going to go pretty with my lion, isn't he? Look at him. Oh my God. Now my husband's is in the older box. So you can already see the difference in the, in, in the boxes. This is the old box. This is the new boxes. This is this is like from old to new, the changes that they're making, okay? So on the new or the old box, they show you, which I got to remember to do stuff this way. They give you all this. They have diamond art club or diamond painting on the side here in diamonds. Um, they have the how-to diamond paint instructions on there, but there's no picture. And really, the only way you know what's came, what came in these boxes is right here. So it says time 61 by 91, which I think is actually a little bit bigger than the one I originally ordered. But we will see. So yeah, so already you can tell the difference. This one's just came in a box. This one is shrink wrapped. You see the extra plastic on it? It's shrink wrapped. This one is not. This, there's no protection for this box, which is why this box, they came in the same big box. But this box is immaculate. There's no dents, no tears, no nothing in this box. This box, on the other hand, it's seen better days. But that's okay because we're not going to be using this box for very long. Because we're going to be working on these tonight. Or maybe tomorrow when he gets home from work. So yeah. So we're going to unbox his first. Now I took them out of the big major box. But I haven't taken them out of their own individual boxes. So like, you guys get to watch all this fun jazz. Alright, so... Essentially, unlike the new ones, this one just comes in a bag. And already I can tell there's loose diamonds in there somewhere. Watch out for the culprits. There's loose diamonds. So we're going to open this up if we can. I don't want to cut into it because there's apparently a lot of loose diamonds in this one. Which is why I'm glad that you are yet again back in my bedroom. Because then I can contain all the loose diamonds. So we're just going to reach in and pull out what's in here. Now take it, remember, this is from their old inventory, okay? So, oh yeah, there's, oh god, there's a ton of loose diamonds in here. I'm gonna have to contact them about that one. Hopefully, it will not hinder the process of making the canvas, but we will see if I can get it out of here. Yeah. Do you see all the loose diamonds? Oh, and they, he actually got Two trays of pink wax, the boat, and the pins. There's no grippies on the pins, but there is a three-placer on each pin, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, there's... His is square, if you can't tell by the diamonds that are coming out of the box. His is square, which I'm not... I don't remember which one mine's is. We'll have to check that out. But there is a loose bag of diamonds in here, and I don't like that. Because then you never know. I mean, yeah, they give you extra. But like I realized last time, like, what did I tell you guys? They can tell you don't tr trust the process. Trust this. Trust that. But when you're doing inventory, you have to trust in the fact that, you know, people make mistakes. And I did. And, and what happened? I ran out of diamonds. Luckily, I had diamonds from another kit. And they are more than willing to send you diamonds. They have a lifetime guarantee on diamonds. You misplace or something happens, they'll replace the diamonds. So first, we're going to get into his diamonds which there's the picture there it's the owl with the clock my husband has this obsession 
with clocks and he likes owls apparently so when he saw me do that lion he was like over the moon about it and he's all like you know well i want to try it so i was like all right let's order you a kit so we ordered him a kit so this is his kit which of course i'm gonna have to teach him how to do inventory and all that fun jazz but that's all right because then he'll know and he'll order his own kits and then he'll do his own diamond chainers and then he won't bother me not that it's bothering me, but he can do his own without having to be, like, asking me for help. Oh, yeah, there's there's diamonds everywhere in here. Let's find that bag real quick. You know what? Bunk it. We'll find it later. That's his problem. Right? Right. All right. So, there's his bag of diamonds. Okay? We're going to push everything else off to the side. So, he has his diamonds. And I used one of his boats to catch all his loose diamonds. But... Here is his canvas. Now remember, this is an older canvas. This is from before they started making their changes. But I am excited to see what it looks like. Holy moly. One, we have even more loose diamonds. You guys might see me in the frame here. But that's all right. Y'all came here to see me anyway, right? Right. All right, let's get all these loose diamonds. And of course, the first one he gets would have loose diamonds in it. Of freaking course. And it looks like like it's not just a couple. Like There's a whole bag of them in there that must be busted. I'm going to have to do that. They have the instruction sheet that tell you how to diamond paint. And it's written on both sides. Fun, right? Yeah, real fun. Alright, so and so far we have this many diamonds that have come out. Hopefully there's no more. I, I, I'm a, I get really irritated when I see loose diamonds because I'm like, okay, so how many bags are busted up in here? All right. So here's another loose diamond, but this is a square or this it's a circle diamond in there. What is that doing in there? Like, oh, sorry, you couldn't see that. Alicia, stop shaking the camera. There we go. Look at that. There's a circle in there. This is a square canvas. So I'm not sure why there's a circle in here, but these things happen. So this is his canvas. And we're going to open this up. Yeah. Oh, there's more loose diamonds. Good gravy. Why are there so many freaking loose diamonds? Oh my God. I am not very happy about that. I don't care that it's an older kit, but like literally every time I touch it, I'm getting like pinches of loose diamonds everywhere. So as you can tell, the newer, the older kits aren't the best. It's not their best work. They knew this, which is why they started making the changes. But this is their old canvas, okay? I am going to move the boat of loose diamonds before I spill them all over my bed again. So let's do it this way. Alicia, remember, it's this way. So this is his canvas. And we're going to pull this back to show you. This is what it will look like if it will focus. There we go. It's an owl holding a lock with a clock and the gears behind it. My husband absolutely loves that type of stuff. So this was right up his alley and he didn't mind that it was older. And yes, it is actually bigger than what we thought. We thought it was supposed to be a 52 by 72. This is a 61 by 90 watch. So he's going to have plenty of fun with this one which I haven't told him yet. I, I literally just showed him the box and brought it in here. So, oh, there's another loose diamond. Getting mad. Calm down. All right. So then at the bottom here, they have step-by-step -step instructions. It fills the canvas is not the velvet. The old canvases apparently were not the velvet. It's that weird plastic canvas material. Then they have your instructions, your step-by-step, -step, which I don't need to read to you. If you want to take a second and pause the video and read it, you are more than welcome to do so. Not that you need to read it, because if you're already diamond painting, then why do you need to read that, right? Right. But there are the instructions. And then on the side over here, it shows you, like, a picture. And let's look at these. Oh, my gosh. Look at that owl. Look at the owl. He's amazing. Look at that owl. Sorry. My kids watch a lot of cartoons. I get these little songs stuck in my head. All right, so I'm going to pull the plastic back a little bit on this. And it looks like it's sectioned off, too. Like, that's kind of cool. Mine's aren't sectioned off. All right. Yep, it's pretty sticky. 
the symbols look nice and clear. Uh, he might need a light pad, but I'll hook him up with mine. Because literally for the lion, my lion, the Soul Keeper canvas, I used the light pad for the first day. I didn't use it after that. Like, that's how clear those freaking symbols were. But yeah, just again, remember this is an older canvas. And it is split into two sections. So here's section one. We're going to lay that back down. We're going to lay it down by the fire to make sure it's happy and content and doesn't roll up on me here. We're going to lay this one down by the fire. You can't do one side without the other, right? Right. We're going to turn this bad boy around. We're going to do the other side. And this is always a good way to get it to stop rolling up on you. And there is yet another loose diamond. Sorry. But this is a good way to get them to stop rolling up on you. Is to open it. Which I'm not sure why it's making that noise. I'm guessing it's really stuck on there. And as you can see again, it's going to be upside down. But you get the gist of it. Symbols are clear. We're going to lay this one down by the fire here. Oh, probably should have laid that first one, or that second one down first, since it was down first. So we're going to lay this down. And then we're going to lay this one back down. Alright, so. If this was still their canvases, like if this is still how things went, honestly, I, don't, I probably wouldn't buy another one. Like, this canvas is horrendous compared to what they have now. So... Yeah, that is one of their older canvases. But I, like I said, I wanted to see what the difference is now. They're, they're changed. They changed a lot of their stuff. Everything is different. And if you notice, keep in mind, look at that pink wax. See how it's rectangle? Yeah. Now, if you watch my Soul Keeper video, and what's going to make my videos a little bit different than most people, you'll see me do these unboxings, but then you'll also see me do diamond paint with me's and everything else until I'm done with the, the painting. And then we'll move on. So far right now, the only one I haven't done a diamond paint with me with is the, the, what is it, the sea or the shore, maybe? The little one that came from um, Annie Buy, because they are such, like, nice people and sent me a free one since I still have yet to receive the first one I ordered. They sent me that one as a free one. Um, that's the only other unboxing I can think of that I've done that you haven't seen me work on. And I literally have not worked on it. Right now, I'm actually crocheting a dog sweater for a friend of ours. So, it won't get worked on today either. And if you're on my Instagram or my Facebook, you would see that my daughter is actually diamond painting the angels that my dad, uh, was so generous enough to buy for me to do for him so that he could, you know, have it for his house, which... He lives in Pennsylvania, so not only do I have the diamond paint it, I didn't have to send it back to Pennsylvania. Alright, now, let's get to the real canvas, okay? Where's my crocodile Dundee knife? I think my husband moved it. No, he did not. Let's get into a real canvas now, shall we? Alright. Now, this one's shrink-wrapped, like I said, so give me a second. Let me open this up for you. Hold your excitement. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. Calm down. Safety first, people. Gotta put that away. And now we're just gonna rip into it like it's Christmas Day and you're a child looking, your little Timmy looking for that little fire engine. So we're just gonna rip right into that. All right. We're gonna rip that off. We're gonna throw that over there because we don't care about trash, right? Right. All right. So now this is the changes that they've made, okay? One, their toolkits now come in these cool little plastic bags. Awesome! And I can already see it in there. Can you see it? <gasps> the heart-shaped wax! That's like the holy grail of wax for me right now. Like, you don't even understand. Like, oh my gosh. And don't worry, I did utter order my color streets, and I am waiting for them to get here. So, like, don't be sad. And look, I don't even know if the other, the Soul Keeper one had a clear boat, but this one has a clear boat! Look at the clear boat! We have our Ziploc bags, which the other one has Ziploc bags in it too, which would be nice for him because he's going to be using Ziploc bags. I have a pen with a pen grip, a diamond painting grip thing on it, which I'm going to just go ahead and put that on there now because I don't have a blue pen. I have a pink pen. And then the holy grail of wax. Well, at least for me, I like the pink wax, that Loctite, st that Loctite stuff. When using it, it gets stuck to the canvas and good luck getting that sucker off there. Yeah. yeah, no. So... The pink wax. Isn't it pretty? Oh my god, 
again, I'm not using it, but I'm going to collect them at this point. Um, so there's my canvas and there are my beads. Did you notice something? <gasps> That's right. No loose beads. That's wonderful. So now they come in this cool plastic shrink wrap that says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And diamond painting does make you sparkle because if you're just like me, when you get up from diamond painting, you have diamonds all over you. So you do sparkle. So that's wonderful. All right. So let's open up this canvas. And unlike the other canvas, it's not like suctioned in there. So it came out real nice. <gasps> oh, the velvet back. Now, nothing else they're famous for is that velvet back. And can I tell you how much I love that? Oh, my God. All right. So. Let's take a look at my canvas. Now, my canvas is a 42 by 60. So, it's a little bit bigger than the dragon. Or the dragon. Ah, the lion. The lion. The soul keeper. Which, can I tell you right now, that when the sun shines in my house, that painting shines like a 90s rapper. Like, there's just bling all over the place. For real. All right. And he actually got an inventory sheet. Now, if you remember my post videos, and there's more diamonds. And there's more. Hold on a second. Let me pick up these loose diamonds and put them in the boat. This boat's going to sink with all the diamonds in here. This is all the loose diamonds that were in that kit. That's from the old kit. So I'm, I'm glad they changed. This is one part I wish they would have kept. His comes with an inventory sheet. But would I sacrifice the quality for an inventory sheet? Uh, hell no. What's wrong with you? No. Forget that. I mean, plus, they're right in Nevada. If you need diamonds, you just message them, and they'll send them out, like, the same or the next day, and you'll get them, like, two to three days. Like, seriously, like, come on now. There's another diamond. That needs to go in a boat. Bloop. <coughs> Sorry. Now, take a look at mine. Now, mine is this one here. I'm going to turn you this way. Mine is the wolf holding the dream catcher, Okay. So we're gonna unroll this bad boy. And it actually looks smaller than the other one. Like it doesn't look any bigger, it looks smaller. That's odd. All right, so let's see if I can get this whole thing on camera without knocking over these loose diamonds. All right, so here's my canvas. Let me make sure I can see that you guys can see it. This is my canvas. Isn't it pretty? This is the next one you guys get to watch me go goo goo gaga over. And again, we're going to pull back the plastic to get it to stop unrolling. We're going to put it back. If we don't mess, I do this every freaking time. Y'all watch the showkeeper one? I did the exact same thing, didn't I? Y'all, I told y'all I'm a hot mess. I just got back from a 10 hour trip from Montana yesterday and I am exhausted so please forgive me I get a little loopy whenever I'm tired and I am I'm freaking exhausted but I had to sit and stalk the mailman because he tried to deliver this yesterday and I knew he would because I knew I wouldn't be here to get it all right so this is my canvas now when I do my diamond paint with me I'll tell you what problem I ran into with my other canvas which had nothing to do with diamond art club it had to do with the fact that I'm colorblind, people. And sometimes there's a struggle when you're home by yourself and you're colorblind and there's nobody there to tell you what color something is. We will go more into that on Monday. But, uh, so here's my canvas. And I know you're asking, hey, Alicia, what are all those weird numbers? Guess what, y'all? Guess what? Yeah, you're, you're guessing. I'll give, you, I'll give you some guesses as to why there's, there's those numbers there. Don't you roll up on that. First, let me show you the quality of those symbols right now. Can you see those symbols? Can you see them? Can you see them? And they use, like, the coolest little symbols. Don't those little circles with the dots look like aliens? I used to, oh, my God, the entire time I did the, the dragon or the... Why do I keep calling it a dragon? Apparently, I need to get a dragon one. Anyways, when I was doing the Soul Keeper, I kept looking at those little circles with the dots, and I'm like, oh, my God. It's freaking, uh... Little aliens all over this. But it looks like they use a lot of the same symbols, which is nice because storage-wise, I can just put them in the storage containers that I had and just change a couple of numbers. But this is the new canvases. It has the velvet. And I'll do a side-by-side. -side, but first, I'm going to pull out these diamonds. 
because you're probably asking, Leisha, you went off on another tangent. What's so different? One, you notice there's no loose diamonds? Mm-hmm. No loose diamonds. Again, Leisha, what's so different? Well, it's not different from my soul keeper, want to tell you that. Why? Aurora Borealis beads. You're seeing it right, people. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with the Aurora Borealis beads. So, these pretty little babies go on those numbers. You think they go on there? I'm pretty sure they do. If it will focus for you. There we go. So there's those diamonds that go on the numbers here. Which would be cool because it kind of matched my lion. Not my dragon because I don't have a freaking dragon. And look at that. Do you see it? Do you see it? Aurora Borealis. That's like my new obsession right now is the Aurora Borealis seeds. Now, again, not all the diamonds will be Aurora Borealis because they're supposed to be accents. They're not supposed to be, like, the major color. So, let's see how many bags of Aurora Borealis seeds I actually have. Are these? Because these are shining pretty bright at me right now. They're not. So, I think I have two bags of those. From the looks of it, yeah, I have two bags of those. So, there's some more diamonds that are stuck to the bag. As you can tell, they're not all grouped together. They're not loose. They're not shoved into a bag folded. And now let's take a look at the old cams. I'm going to bring this boat over here before I spill it. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it over here behind the camera because I know I'm going to spill it. All right. So let's look at the differences in the canvases. So we're going to, one, we're going to stop wrinkling it. I'm going to get rid of all this trash over here. There's all this trash. All right. So let's look at the differences, shall we? All right, one. With the old one, you got a standard kit. You got your Ziplocs. You got your drill pin. I do like the fact that it did come with a three-placer on it, though. So that's that's something they didn't have to change, but they did. You got your pink wax, which I love the heart pink wax. I mean, because what's funner? Uh, the heart, duh. And you got your green boat. The new ones come with the cool, clear boat with the spout. So it makes it easier to pour it back into your storage container. So that's one difference. Second difference, the old ones came with an inventory sheet. But if you notice, there's Chinese letters on there. Yeah. How much you want to bet that they went off to do business by themselves because they weren't very happy with the quality of work that was being produced and sent to them? I don't know for sure. All I know is the product that I have here is a thousand times better than what I have here. All right. So we got the clear boat here. We got the green boat on the other side. Again, let me try to... I'm trying not to put, like, the whole side of my face in the camera so y'all are, like, looking at the whole side of my face. Y'all need to be looking at all of my business. All right. So, as you can tell, we're going to push that up that way so you don't have to look at that. Now, these are the diamonds for over here. And I am going to pour them out because, like I said, there is a... Look at this. All at the bottom of that. So, we're going to bring Choo Choo Boot. Coming to collect all the loose diamonds. This makes me really angry right now because I know they're all over the place. And I'm not going to get them all in this boat, am I? I might get them all in the boat. Yeah, this... I don't want to tell him about this part because he's going to get mad. Because now he's going to be wondering how he knows if he has all the right amount of diamonds. And he's going to sit here and nitpick and count each one of these loose diamonds. Which I guess is okay. But I don't got time for all of that. When I diamond paint... And I get a, uh, when I buy a canvas, I don't want there to be a bunch of wrinkles in it. I don't want there to be rivers. I don't want there to be anything that hinders me from taking it out of the box and immediately working on it. This, I would have to do some work to. This, I don't. I can literally go straight from this to storage to working on it. Like, I can have this be a work in progress within the next half hour. This, this will take me a while. Because first, one... Can you see all these 3865s? Holy cow. Which, the other difference is, again, let's not try to spill that boat. If you notice on, can you see it? Of course you can see it. You can shout out and tell me you can see it. You don't got to act like, you know, I'm talking to myself over here. All right. This canvas, the newer canvases have the key on both sides. So there's a key here. And then there's another key on this side, right? Right. 
the old canvas, you have one key that is teeny tiny right up top there, which you can't see, but right there. See how small that is compared to the new ones? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, let's do a side by side here. We're gonna push my diamonds off because my diamonds are perfect. His diamonds are crap. So yeah, can you see the difference in size here in the, the key? Part of diamond painting is you want to be able to see the key. A lot of people will make photocopies of it. Why should I have to make a photocopy of it? You didn't have an inventory sheet, so I want them nice and big so I can actually see it. And I'm not squinting my eyes to try to figure out what the symbols are. On his, luckily, it came with an inventory sheet. But even the symbols on there are dark. Look how dark they are. He's still going to have problems reading that. And this is his first diamond painting. So, and they told me, you know, the quality isn't going to be the best. Are you sure you want this? Like, they, they made sure to let me know that this canvas was garbage. And I was like, you know what? That's what he wants. If that's what he wants, then that's what he wants. But I want quality. He just wanted the picture. And I have a bad feeling that I'm going to be the one that ended up finishing his picture. If I do, I'll do a diamond paint with me, and you go hear me fuss all about it. Anyways. So, yeah. So, the symbol, the keys are different. The size, there, there's, the size of them, huge difference. The number of them, there's two on mine. There's two keys on mine. So there's one key, there's two keys. There's only one on his. At the top of his, it says square. So it lets you know that it's a square canvas. Let's see if we can find all the rest of these loose diamonds. And then as you can tell, all his diamonds are like, essentially like together like this. And I'm colorblind, so I can't even tell you what color I'm looking for. I'm gonna guess that's a gray color. But from the looks of it, there's more than one gray color. So I don't know. So we'll see if anything, oh, there's more falling out of there. Is it maybe that gray color? That looks too dark. So yeah. So for those of you who are wondering what changes Diamond Art Club made, they made some huge changes, okay? Like drastically huge. That's all his 310s. Well, that's, that's some of them. But look, look, okay. And I know there has to be three pen in mine. Yeah. Look at the difference. Now, that's that's his 310. You see the number on it? Hmm? Let me turn it around just in case you think I'm tricking you. Do you see any number on that bag? No, you do not. Where's the number, right? If you look in the glare, you can see a little bit of a number. Right there. You see it? Let me shine some light on this situation. You see it? Look how dark that is. Okay? No. Now look at this bag. This is from the new set. That's a good diamond bag. And look, it's a big one. So there has to be at least 500 or more in that bag. Okay? So, that's his. And don't get me wrong, Diamond Art Club is not garbage. Their old canvases were not garbage. I'm pretty sure this one has just been one of their last ones that was in stock. And they were just trying to get rid of it, which is fine. Which... I didn't let them suggest anything to me this time. I picked it out this time. He picked out his. I picked out mine. We were told that this wasn't going to be the best. But I wanted to be able to show you guys what changes they made. Because I heard they have a lot of bad blood out there right now. A lot of people hating on Diamond Art Club. And I can't let them hate on Diamond Art Club without seeing the facts. Okay? Fact number one. The canvases. Million times better. Million times. You got two keys. You have two keys on the canvas two huge keys two they have new diamonds they have the new resin diamonds with the aurora borealis that shine brighter than the normal diamonds okay also your symbols on the new canvas are a lot brighter and bolder so that it's easier for you to see as you just saw the numbers on the bags are a lot easier for you to see Right now, I'm going through, which, let me change you over here so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going through and trying to find the bag that the Loose Diamonds came out of. There are some more 310s. And again, you can't see the number on those. How do you know that's not 939? And I'm colorblind. So for somebody like me, that's a big deal. Because I had that issue with my Soul Keeper. And it wasn't because it was misdone by them. It's because when I went to go do it, I took them out of the bag first. To make sure that they weren't staticky. And yeah, I'll tell you about that again in my next video. But yeah. So, these are his diamonds. And from the looks of it, he looks it looks like he has all his diamonds. 
So I'm not sure where these loose ones are coming from. Oh, look. There's a circle in there. You see this circle? You see the circle. But yeah, he has loose diamonds all over this. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see it. And of course, as a diamond painter, you see this and you get your heart sinks a little bit because you're like, am I going to have enough to do what I need to do? From the looks of it, his bags are all sealed. So these loose diamonds, I don't know where they came from. They could be for his. They couldn't. They, they may not be for his. I don't know. I don't know what color they are because, again, I'm colorblind. They're obviously not in a bag, so I can't be like, oh, this is number 435. Like, I can't tell you what number these are because they're just out. I can't even tell you if they're all the same color because I'm colorblind, so I don't know. That's one of the reasons why I like this craft because, you know, I can be colorblind and still do it and still create amazing, amazing images and not have to worry about if my colors are off, which sometimes happens when I crochet. Not that I don't like crochet, because I literally, like I said, I was crocheting before the guy messaged me. My my mailman and I are so, like, we're like this, okay? We are like this. This man texted me and was like, hey, I'm outside. I see your car's here. Do you want to come get your package? Uh, hell yeah, I want to come get my package. So I ran my happy tail right outside to go get that package. So, yeah. Um, that's stuck in the canvas. Now I got to go into the canvas to get that. So yeah, not that their old canvases were horrible. This isn't horrible. Like this happens, like if you get off AliExpress, if you get off like New Frog or anybody, this is something that you're accustomed to, which is pretty sad because I, again, would rather have quality over quantity. Where I see a lot of these diamond painters with seven, eight, you know, 50, 60 different diamond paintings. I'm like, when are you gonna have time to do all those? No, I order for what I need right now. If I ain't doing it right now, I'm not ordering it. Let's see. Can I get those out of there? Oh, crap. They are stuck to the canvas. Jesus, Lord, help us. Say a prayer. Let me get these off. We got them off. Prayer works, y'all. All right. So let's get these over here. See if we can scoot them into the boat. We're going to try to scoot these into this boat. Which Why would I put them in the second boat? I can just put them back in that boat. Common sense, we shall. All right. We're going to just those into there and then later on off camera I'll put these in a Ziploc bag and hold on to them in case it's the number he actually needs that's trash that's the other thing you don't see a whole lot of trash in their new kits and the older kits I guarantee you there's a lot of trash because the one thing I had actually had more than one color in it so and there's more diamonds up this way not even sure how and now our little tugboat of diamonds is actually almost full. Like, you see this? This is ridiculous. And I'm not blaming our Diamond Art Club for that because, like I said, I know they had this stashed away and they told me, they gave me the warning, it's an older canvas. And I'm like, that's perfect because now I can show the difference between the new and the old. So again, you're looking at a, let's see, a 60 by 91 compared to a 42 by 60. This one is, that's trash. This one is my husband's. And this bad mamma jamma is mine. Now, of course, I will finish mine first. Let me get in camera here so I can get all this. It's like I just won the lottery. I'm like, yay, look at all the diamonds. All right. So the old kits came in the standard bag. I don't know where I put the boat for it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a hot mess over here. Here we go. You got the old boat, the, the wax, the zippies, like, you did get an inventory sheet, so, you know, that's a bonus for that one, but quality-wise, I'll let you guys see for yourselves, like, honestly, where I like this, that this one, they could tear the, t the bigger ones like this into two sections, because that would be very helpful, because, you know, I have to cut them as I go, and where I do like the clear canvases, I do like the fact that they cut the bigger ones. But I just wish they would cut these because it would make it easier on me and less work that I have to do. Y'all know I'm lazy. Don't judge me. So, yeah. You can see for yourself the differences here. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. The packs of diamonds. Let's see. Let's see if we have two matching colors that I can show you. Probably not. We should, though, because I have gray in mine. That's 415... That's four. 
Look at that. I can't even read this crap. Like, seriously? 413. He has 414. So, we'll do 414 and 4... No, because they're not the same color. Does he have a 415? He has to. He has a 318. I can see that one. All their old ones were all written in black letters. I noticed that as well. Like... Can you see it? The 3860? They're all written in black. The newer ones are written in gold. Or, if gold is too much for that color, they're written in silver. So you get your pick, silver or gold. Well, you don't get your pick. They pick it. What's best for you, but... Yeah. So, nope, get over there. That's not, that's not mine. So, yeah. So you tell me what you think for yourselves of the two canvases. I'm going to flip this around here. This is the new Diamond Art Club. This is how their new canvases will come. I actually love the upgrades. The canvases feel a lot better. I don't feel like I'm getting cheap canvas. Um, the diamonds are a lot, they're a lot brighter. I mean, look at this. They're two different colors, but just, okay, maybe I should do one without the Aurora Borealis beads. Okay, so we'll do like a dark brown. Here we go. Okay, there we go. These are, mine's is round, his is square, okay? And to me, the sparkle on these is way better than the sparkle on those. Okay? So you have two, on, on the newer ones, I'm going to move you guys around a little bit. You have two. You have one, two. You have one, uh... Inventory list. I'm going to call them inventory list for right now. You have one inventory list on each side of the new canvas. On the old canvas, you only have one, like over there in the corner. You see it? That tiny little thing that's written up there? You see this? One. One tiny little inventory list. Like, it's teeny tiny. Like, it is going to be hard for him to read. So, luckily, he did get an inventory sheet. Two, the diamonds, I think, are better. They look like they're a better quality. Um, you get the heart-shaped wax in the boat. With the other one, you do not. Um, the picture. Look at look at the pictures. Now, I don't want to mix up diamonds. not like it would matter so I could tell which one's which. Look at the quality of the pictures, okay? Now, I'm not saying that his won't come out. Because if, if it doesn't, you guys know I'm going to make a fuss, right? But look at that. Look at the quality of the pictures itself. The image, this image, I don't think it's supposed to be so dark, but it is. It's dark. This one is bright and vibrant. Like, they're using something new to make their images bright and vibrant. Because my picture should actually be darker than his picture. And if you look at his picture, his picture actually looks darker than mine. Mine's literally is like, literally looks like it, it's... Look at that wolf. Like... That's going to be a dark picture. His is not supposed to be dark because he has white in his, or at least it looks like it's supposed to be white. His is supposed to be a lot brighter than mine. So you can tell just from that alone that the quality is better. Like I said, the back of them, you have the velvet canvas. Like, I'm not making beats here, like, like, no, we're not, not going to start break dancing in here. So I love the velvet. They've made some amazing changes over at Diamond Art Club. Please go check them out at diamondartclub.com. You can also find them on Facebook and Instagram. This is my side-by-side -side review of the old and the new Diamond Art Club. Like I said, you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. I will link them down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, or would like me to check out another store, please feel free to leave comments below so that I know which store you're interested in, but you're a little weary about getting a canvas from them because you've heard some bad things. Well, let me do it for you. I'm going to order a small one because I'm not going to order a bunch of big ones. I mean, yeah, we all know this is going to take me like a week. <laughs> his, um, we might see his next year. Anyways, so yeah. So that's it for me, Miss Crochet and Coffee. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. I always love seeing a thumbs up. 
If you're not already a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe to see more videos from me. I post, I try to post daily unless it's the weekend because as y'all know, I like to spend time with my family, but then sometimes things go awry. Like my husband gets called out to work, which I believe he has to work this weekend. And if he does, I will be doing a diamond paint with me and it'll be more like a diamond paint with me and Maggie because Maggie has now fallen in love with diamond painting, even though she is six years old and wants to diamond paint. So she might do a diamond paint with me. So you might get to see a diamond paint with me before, with me, with Maggie, before with me, with my husband. Either way, it's going to be cute because that's cute. Orion, Orion is still a gamer. So maybe one day we can convert him. Anyways, again, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button that give you notifications every time I put up a new video. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.